today I'm going to talk around the overhead press or the shoulder press. So, just to give you an example, one of the most common exercises we'll see in the gym, you can either do it in standing or sitting position using dumbbells, barbell, um, and I'm just going to talk through some, some issues. In other words, for example, lack of mobility that can lead to not performing this exercise the best way you could, or even possibly actually leading to injuries or even pain around the shoulders or the neck or the upper back. And then even more importantly, showing you some a couple of things you can do uh, to help address these issues. So actually, so it applies you know, mainly to the overhead press, but it even applies to overhead mobility in general. For example, if we're doing pull-in exercises or pull-up exercises. So this movement here is called our shoulder flexion. So sometimes uh, people have restriction in shoulder flexion, so they can't fully reach back as far as possible. And that can be to do with the shoulder joint itself, um, or even the muscle around it. And it can, another common example is, or reason, is restriction in the upper back, so our thoracic spine. And that's probably even actually more, more than like, likely to shoot. For example, a lot of people spend quite a bit of time in that position and it can stiffen this part of the, the upper back and we want to try and open that up. So if we do a restriction in the upper back or the shoulder um, and we try to do that exercise, I'll give you a common example here again. So if I can't really get that upper back extension and bringing the arms back, I'm going to have to compensate my lower back when I'm doing that. I'm going to have to to, uh, sorry, we're going to have to arch into the lower back like so, and that can lead to lower back issues. Again, if we don't have, we don't have that range of movement and we try to press overhead when we're in a bit of that hunch type position, then it can lead to, uh, again, it's issues in the shoulder because the lack of mobility here or in the shoulder will just overload that area. So, if you do have restrictions and you find it difficult to get the arm stretched up fully overhead, Give you a couple of things ago. There's quite loads of different variations of these, but these are kind of two of the easier ones. So you can go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, all good. So first one is arms on the box like so. We're gonna kneel down, and we actually want to let the lower back round off as much as we can. And we're just gonna drop down as far as possible. So we want to be totally relaxed as we're doing this one and just let the chest drop towards the ground, ever so slightly pushing into it. You can either hold this, or we can go through um, a sort of slow bouncing type movement. Not forcing anything, but literally just trying to get a stretch into that position. Very basic. Next one, what we're gonna do is push that out of the way. And so lying down. For this one, we want to make sure that we don't arch the lower back, so we'll, if possible, trying to tuck the hips in and under a little bit, so getting the, the abdominals and glute muscles engaged a little bit, relaxing the forehead on the ground, and all we're going to do is just raising up the arms like so, and back down. So keep those tummy muscles and glute muscles working, so we don't, as I said, arch into the lower back, and we're going to raise up like so, totally isolating that upper back. Some of you may find that quite difficult, especially if you're very restricted, so just to make it slightly easier, we can bend the elbows a little bit, and that will make things a little bit easier to do, but then as you progress through that, we uh, you should be able to stretch up overhead. Doing that second one, uh, so the first one is, it's a good one to do before the second one. The first one is what we call more passive, and it's, it's not an active stretch, so it's using gravity to just get ourselves into that position. The second one then we're using our muscles to try and, and, uh, and strengthen up that, that new movement that you just uh, temporarily uh, uh, gained. Uh, with, with the second one, just make sure you're not feeling any issues with the lower back. Again, we don't want to cause those issues, we want to try and help prevent the issues. So, there, it's kind of, there are two exercises uh, to work on that thing, uh, or to work on um, that restricted movement. Uh, that is slightly simplified, there can be a few other issues, like say tightness in the lats or tricep muscles, or even issues with the shoulder joint itself, which can restrict the movement. But give those two a go and see how you end up.